Welcome to this short video tutorial showing you all the steps required to run your ABAP on HANA Developer Edition in the cloud. First, you have to sign up for and prepare your cloud service provider account, in this case Amazon Web Services. So navigate to aws.amazon.com and sign up if you don't already have an account. Then navigate to the AWS Management Console. Within the AWS Console, enter the Identity and Access Management section. To enable the SAP Cloud Appliance Library to create AWS resources using the REST API, you should create a dedicated AWS user with its own access key and secret key and assign this user to a specific group with administrator permissions. Don't forget to download and store the secret key and the access key of your AWS user, which you need later on to create an AWS account in the SubCloud Appliance Library console. Now create a new group with administrator permissions and assign your just created AWS user. That's all you need to prepare in your cloud service provider account. In the next section, I'll show you how to deploy your developer edition on AWS using the SAP Cloud Appliance Library. Navigate to sap.com slash abaptrial and log in with your SCN user. Scroll down to the ABAP on HANA Developer Edition and follow the hyperlink to the Cloud Appliance Library Test Drive Center. Finally, you have to accept the terms and conditions of the Developer Edition, which opens the Instance Creation Wizard within your personal Cloud Appliance Library account. Now you can specify your Cloud Service Provider and enter the credentials of your previously created AWS user. And please select US East as a region where the developer edition is currently available. Now scroll down to the instance details and enter a name and a master password which is being used for operating system users as well as application users. Finally, hit the Create Instance button, which will start the initial provisioning process. This initial deployment phase takes about 45 minutes, which you can use to get familiar with the user guide of the developer edition. Within this guide, you find the most relevant information for working with the ABAP on HANA Developer Edition. After a few minutes, you can already click on your instance name and retrieve the elastic IP of your Windows frontend instance, which serves 
as a remote desktop for your developer edition. In this last section, I'll show you how to connect to the remote desktop of your developer edition by using the public IP of your frontend instance. On your local Windows PC, you can use the desktop search to open the RDP client or use an appropriate RDP client for your operating system. Then enter the public IP of your frontend instance and use administrator and your master password to log on to the remote desktop of your developer edition. On your remote desktop, you'll find a welcome page with additional information and SAP GUI and the SAP development tools for Eclipse with pre-configured connections. So you can directly open Eclipse in the other perspective and use the pre-configured connection to your ABAP backend with user developer and your master password and start developing. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and please don't forget to suspend your cloud instances in the Cloud Appliance Library console if you're not using them.